Hello everybody, this is Joe Baca. Uh, it's been a long time and uh, trying to keep up with a toddler now. Um, I'm going to have to change the way that uh, I'm, I'm doing a lot of these classes now. <laughs> um, so they're going to have to be in little short spurts and, and in a lot of mini classes like this. Um, and now that technology is so advanced, I'm doing this actually from my iPhone, not even from my computer anymore. So anyways... Um, so to get to the topic at hand, which is uh, shifting connected, I know this is kind of a big thing uh, for a lot of students out there, mariachi students, um, and a lot of people think that you know it's just primarily a first violin thing, but uh, third and second violins should also get into the habit uh, of at least trying to look for alternative fingerings in the upper positions that sound a lot warmer. Um, but and the thing is, is that the technique is exactly the same, uh, whether you're playing on the E string or the or the G string. Um, and so basically, the idea of shifting connected is is getting the shifting technique fluid in your left arm, so that when you're actually phrasing the line, uh, you're concentrating a little bit more on your bow. Uh, uh, than anything else and then again uh, the vibrato also has a lot to do with how you're connecting your shifting um, and the thing about shifting in mariachi is, is we have um, a kind of phenomenon or um, just uh, a, a more of a habit as I see it uh, of sliding uh, all the time, uh, and especially in first violinists, when uh, I hear a lot of mariachis go up into higher positions, every note is slid to, and uh, notes are just not nailed right on it. And uh, th the slide uh, can be something very beautiful um, in a shift, uh, especially when it's when it's the precursor to a to a vibrato swing of some sort. But um, a slide isn't beautiful if it's every single time you're heading up to the top. Uh, the, the phrase, the musical line, um, should be able to speak for itself, you know, without a slide just to prepare for intonation. And that's just going to have to be with your scales. And the scales are really the magic in uh, shifting connected because to shift connected, you have to be sure where you're headed to on the, uh, the neck. And so, if you look at these pictures, uh, the wrist is always in a natural position, um, and it's it goes straight down to the elbow, and the higher that I get, the more I bring my elbow in, uh, or closer towards my bow hand, okay? But there, in this picture, if you look at my uh, fingers, everything's lined up, all the joints are lined up. And if you see in this one, the elbow is brought in. That's the highest position there of this uh, little solely part. Um, and I do have a little bit of an anchor uh, of my thumb on the uh, on the the top of the body. Here's uh, the sequence in slow motion, and you can see the vibrato working fluidly. And the vibrato is going to help me get up to the top. And that's a vibrato on the fourth finger, and my first finger, believe it or not, is still connected. And so my vibrato is actually helping me to get to the top, but I'm not sliding to the note. It's a combination of the, the, fluid, the fluidity between the vibrato, shifting, and then of course knowing where I'm aiming. Um, but then, once it comes down to it, you know, I just pull the bow. And the bow is what connects all of the lines and all of the dots.